We're not going to be looking at a word problem that's part of a category of rate and distance. And whenever you work with problems like this, you have to know the following two equations. Uh, one is, or not necessarily two equations per se, but uh, methodologies on how to solve these kinds of problems. So one of them is distance one equals distance two. That's a concept you use when both people or objects involved in the problem travel the same distance. And I think in this case that may work for this problem because let, let's read the problem and see if that works. Sammy leaves town driving 40 miles per hour. Two hours later, Carol leaves from the same place, traveling the same road. She catches Sammy after five hours and 20 minutes. How fast was Carol driving? Sometimes if you make a diagram on a problem like this, it makes a problem a whole lot easier. So let's try to do that. Let's take what we see here and put in a diagram. So they both start from the same place. And when Carol catches up to Sammy, they're also at the same place. So let's talk about that as being the start and the finish. Now, it turns out that Sammy does leave two hours earlier. So let's say here's Sammy's car. And Sammy travels at 40 miles per hour. And after five hours and 20 minutes, Sammy ends up over there. So two hours later, Carol takes off in her car. She drives faster, obviously, otherwise she couldn't catch Sammy. But we don't know how fast, so let X represent the speed at which Carol travels. And after a total of 5 hours and 20 minutes after Sammy left, Carol also arrives at the same spot. So you can see that in this case, both of them drive the same amount of distance. However, Carol drives faster and takes less time to get there. So that's why this equation here, this approach of solving the problem really works. They both travel the same distance. So we can write distance one equals distance two. So distance one, let's say that's for Sammy and distance two is for Carol. And since they travel same distance, you can say distance one equals distance two. Now we're going to replace each distance by what they're equal to. Distance is defined by the rate times the time. So that means the rate of Sammy times the time that Sammy travels that distance equals the rate of Carol, Oop, that would be two, times the time that Carol travels that distance. Okay, now we can plug in what we know. The rate of Sammy is 40 miles per hour. And the time that Sammy takes, she takes a full five hours and 20 minutes. Now, 20 minutes is one third of an hour, so we can write five and one third hours. Equals the rate of Carol, since we don't know what that rate is, we'll write X. And the time that Carol drives, well, she leaves two hours later, so she travels two hours less. So it's five and a third minus two, that gives me three and a third hours. And if I solve that equation for x, that will let me know how fast Carol was traveling. Okay, the first thing I want to do is convert these into what we call improper fractions. So I'm going to write 5 and a third as, well, if I multiply 5 times 3, I get 15 plus 1 is 16. I can write this as 16 over thirds equals x times, and 3 and a third, 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10 times 10 over 3. So I converted from a mixed number to an improper fraction. Now I can go ahead and get rid of the fractions by multiplying both, both sides by the lowest common denominator. In this case, that is 3. So I multiply the left side by 3 and the right side by 3. So 3 times 16 thirds, that's, three, that's the 3's cancel out, and end with 40 times 16 equals. And 3 times 10 thirds, the 3's cancel out here, I get x times 10. Of course, that's the same as 10x. I can switch the two around, so I can now write 10x is equal to 40 times 16. And since I'm running out of room here, I'm going to scoot right over to the other side of the board, right there. I can multiply 40 times 16. 
4 times 6 is 24, that's uh, 640, so 10x is equal to 640, and now I can go ahead and divide both sides by 10. That cancels this, and I get x equals 64. So 64 is the rate at which Carol travels. Now to make sure we did this correctly, is there some way we can check? Well, if Sammy travels 40 miles per hour for five hours and a third, then I can calculate how far Sammy travels. So distance one for Sammy is equal to the distance equals the rate times time. So the rate is 40 times the time, which is five and a third. So 40 times five, that's 200 plus 40 times a third, that's 40 divided by 3. And 3 goes into 40, 13 and a third times, so that would be 213 miles and a third. Okay? We'll do the same for Carol. Distance 2 for Carol. So she travels faster at 64 miles per hour, and she travels for 3 hours and a third, so 3 and a third. So 3 times 64, that's 180, that's 192. And 64 times a third, that's 64 divided by 3. And 3 goes into 64, 21 and a third times. So I add that there, I get 213 and a third. They're both the same. That means I did the problem correctly. So that's how you solve a problem using distance, rate, and time.